him. Yeah, I'm a about mom online TV, mom online radio. If you say time with you, be a pre, be a for the kunya, be a kusoni TV, be a chini phone. Oh, show your life. Oh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Telegram, Skype, and a Snapchat. Oko wa anwa seche mom online. Ube nyayeng. So why you busy now? Say ope se utie yan. Ewa wasumwa ye online radio. Kwa radio.net, Google Play Store. Tune in radio, modern Ghana, online radio box. Nesechi, Mam Radio One. Mam Radio One. Ubenya yang eti a life. Ube to me, Afre, I will bra program, of course, we be our own tears here now, your team, and as it be ours, and we say be another beside you. Official studio line say 0246751175. Oh, question B, Efe Jumedia, ye be di mwa. Fafaso, air voice notes, test message, and our voice call or video call. Or the buy a bisum ewaha. A mamma line and salamon Muslim foundation a cabum a shet ukuna four in Yankani in Wusia and more a bit my fire so a mamma for a boy, inshallah, or number boy. We have our sponsors to be B Musa phones at Edum Kumasi and Habitat Air Conditions and Engineering Works at Abawunima. Who could be? And as a woke a crabby as a nasty. In some way, they are more normal for Moody Brain. Saraka was put to me to insure a broad crunky to any crunky sim. Bibia is so any bear or muscle or to insure a mark. Okay, a website now, mam gh online dot org. Mam gh online dot org. O r g. Ubenya and sweaty. Okay, right side on Abu Mam Radio One. O don't say so. I will play a boom say. Is to come a come a cassa. I can't with them. Hanginano. Obit me and your beat ye in case one messy program be answered so. Yeah, the two playback na when you be eti after mwa ba insha Allah. Mesra se upe sa sponsor program biya e ufia ha. Diya wasa wa yane se ube fresh studio lines na 0246-751175. 0246-751175. Ana 0200-773367. Wobi biya o kasa ufia muhe biya upe sa sponsor na efu. Dodua wabi ti maa sponsor na uka. Na waya ye mwa sendi videos na ye mkobe ye biya na ye atini nina. Samu sponsor ya ni enye bi editor power, editor data, editor studio equipment. Ni ye buwa majume di ye akone nimi. Please let's go for a commercial break. When we are back, she'll take us to... Kwa 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 Wallahi. Al-Jannah to Fidaus is our limit. Inshallah. Amen. Center, Salam al Muslimin Foundation GH, Jemsa in UCC, UEU, and also Akrot Khans, Ghana Muslim Mission, the, is, the Living Islam, Islamic Gallery, Sense of Islam, Mujahideens, Fans of Guidance TV, Why You Should Accept Islam, Focus on Islam, Jihad and Nafs, Defend the True Word, Mam Online HQ pages 1 to 10. Mam online in Egypt, Libya, Germany, and Togo. Mam Dawa KTK, Muslim Access Movement, pages 1 to 3. I do Muslimess of Mam, I do Muslimess of Twansi, and also Mam Fek Islamic Hospital Fund. Today we are discussing women and funeral. Joining me in the studio, I have my Lama Maridia right here with me. But before then, let's go for a commercial break when we are back to take us to. Best certificate in heaven, take it. Sadly, but for that, this has to carry on the other or the beer, you be the other than me. Any hypocrites, the other hypocrites, natural. When you be boon, Uber wasn't going mad, the soir, a son, a bosom cotra, and go musan is added no nanti or yea, China Marco Marco. Imam, my sorry, we are no beer, why I fell on the moon, my bossa, daddy. Imam, on the control salon. Do we can be out there actually? So sala ni sanya. Imam na waza mate muda wo. Enye bibi enti na komshe ni free eya maka emom se de be ya obebo eya Islam ho ban. Eni ono ankasa ne kra ho ban. Eni sahaba fo no so so omuji ni tum no.
Ebedi ama mungu na kia afu na enu mese. Achedi e huu hiya ena feye bo. Le me urefi se dam kwa ma temu da otu fo ni angko pansi. Oni pa o sorry free wada kebina mwa. One two in two nine and three baby a wujina. This is a busa o and seven siadi. Na sa seven siadi was emu ba ako and se ni angko pansi be busa o se. Nimti enu a odema a wano. Ebi e na odi e. Na di e gumi ni se. Awari e mu no. Ebi e awari awari boni. Ati ti se adi aku e wumu. Ya e ya bema ne e ya oba. And to see a cat, a warrior, some man, young canny, young canny, na young Susan, and fire, whom battle or two for young couple, Nadia, young couple, Bacano, young yede, young D and Wachi. Brebby Besso, Nippa went to me to Nam Kamuko, you be a wuss old mano. Poframa, no wuss abba, now so mana be done in Yanka. Necessary, you get two more, we're cotton and we're cottoner. And this a woe, and now what it will man, because what it will be back into a banso no echo could ya hooker. Eat. We have some people who do makeup, and because of that, they don't perform ablution. And then you think you are pain, but you don't know you are kissing yourself. Wallahi, al gender to feed us is our limit, inshallah. Amen. Salam alaikum. Once again, welcome back. Today, the discussion is women and funeral. And joining me in the studio is Malama Moidia Mustafa. And the program is Ideal Muslim Health Show. Um, Malama Moidia, Salama Alaikum. Alaikum, Salama Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, Barakatuh. A'ud Billahi Minash Shaitani Wajim, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. Wa Salatu Wa Salam Ala Rasulina Muhammad Wa Alihi Wa Sahbihi Ajma'in. Rabbi Shahli Sadri Wa Sili Amri Wahli Lugulata Milisani Yafqa Wakal Alhamdulillahi Rabbi Alameen Inshallah Malo Morida, today we are discussing women and female Yes, Inshallah, today our topic is women and female Okay, um, so why the topic women and female? Okay, the, the main reason why I chose to talk about female and also like in the women aspect, aspect is you can see like today okay first of all i want to remind myself and also the ladies out there all of us to know that really death is there like death is around the corner and then it will meet us at any point in time, time. so okay. we, should, we have to always prepare for that but then you can also see that like today when you look at the world or when you look at your society you can see that a lot of the ladies they don't regard or i would say maybe they've forgotten okay. or like they don't think mostly that there is something called death or they don't constantly like they are not conscious of it like at just this at just this moment i can die they don't normally put that in mind so like i decided to talk about this to remind them so that they'll put it in mind because for death it always comes at in it's not only the old that dies. Yes. Also the young die, the yeah. children die, even the those who were who are not yet born, they do die in their mother's yeah. Because yeah, exactly. in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Cool enough since I cut the mouth. Every so every soul shall or, taste death. Yes, every soul shall taste death. So we have to be prepared and then we have to remind each other as it is always around us. So that we prepare for it. So, um, what is death? What is death? Okay, in my humble opinion, or what I would say, death is. I think death is when, like, your body sees from performing action or or being in motion, like when the body the body becomes stiff. But then, the, if you want, I want to Islamize it or Islamically, they say death is when the ruh, which is the soul leaves the human body so the, now the body is left alone and the body will no more be functioning okay. so that is what death is and so, what are the requirements of women concerning death there are many requirements of women when it comes to death like and then it's also depend on the kind of person or who the, who the dead is who the corpse is he can be a close relative and you know women we are very very emotional yeah. So, like, when you lose someone very close to you, it can be your mother, father, 
maybe husband, so stuff, right? children, and all this. We have to one one thing we ha- we have to like try and then strive ourselves to do is to be able to be patient and to be able to see this thing we normally say when somebody dies. In yes, from Allah we are, and then to Allah we will all retain. Yes, this is one first requirement. The woman should be patient. She, she shouldn't let her emotion overcome her patience. She should try and then like be patient and be able to say this. She shouldn't will. Let's assume we are in the same room. Maybe my mother. Let's assume my mother. We are in the same room. My mother passed away. The requirement or what like Islam requires for me is first, maybe if I see that she's struggling, if I'm able to detect that she's struggling and she's about to die, then I should try my best and then be repeating the shahada, shahada la ilaha yeah, for her. Yeah. So that if Allah grants her the permission, she'll be able to say it after me. And then also, if she passed away, I should try and then straighten up her limbs, like her body. Okay. Because if it is there for long, maybe before people will come there, it will be stiff and then they will not be able to straighten it. And if that happens to burying her, bathing her, and then shrouding her will be difficult. Okay. So you should try and then be strong. Because you have to think the person as just she's the same person. Nothing will change from her. If you see a corpse, you know that nothing will change. It's just that the person is not moving. Okay. That is what makes us scared sometimes. And you know, women we tend yeah. to scare so yeah. we are always scared of certain things. So when you straighten her limbs, make sure if you can turn her body, maybe her legs and then her face to face towards the kibla. Then you can use something to tie her chain to the head okay. so that the this thing her mouth will not drop okay if not because she's dead she doesn't have control over her body okay. so this can make her like her jaw drop and then it, her mouth will be open okay. like that even flies can enter okay. so you should try your best be strong and then Enough. tie it you just put something here then you tie it on top of the head so that okay. it will be closed then you know if you leave her to maybe she bloat and then she become big, so you can take something heavy. It can be knife, put it on the stomach or something knife. heavy. Yes, you know metallic. If it is a metal, metal. you see it heavy. Metal. Yes, okay. you put it on the stomach so that the stomach does not protrude. You know, so that when they come, they can just bath her and then. And so can a woman bath any, anyone at all? No, like a woman cannot bath anyone at all. A woman cannot even bath a man unless the man is very close to her, maybe her husband, husband okay. or her child. The, the can man it be is your child. father? You cannot bath your father. What if your mom is not there? You, maybe your brother. You don't have a brother. Uncles. Okay. Yes, if there is no uncle, then a righteous person, a man. Uh, you cannot bath your father, I said this thing. It's only... A wife can bath her husband, but then apart from that, if there is no man at all, and only a woman is present, then the only thing she can do is tayamam. She has to perform tayamam for the corpse, and then they'll go and bury him, yes. So, um, before I go to the questions, Mm. um, why is it that you cannot bath your father, your own father? But, you know, like, okay, please excuse me to see. Have you ever seen the nakedness of your father? No. So it's the same thing, but uh, your mother, you know, whatever is in you, that is what is in her. So you, but then as a father, you know, everything related to men, men should do it. But someone like your husband, you already, you've seen his nakedness and you've been together. So buffing him is, then, then even buffing your husband, there are some scholars who even like don't agree to it. But then when you look into the life of Prophet Muhammad, we can see that, um, the wife of Abu Bakr, the companion of the Prophet, yeah. she 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 bathed Abu Bakr when he died, and even Fatima bathed Ali when she when he died. Yeah, so right. these are proofs to show that a, a man a woman can bath her what her husband when she dies. Apart from that, unless if the child if he is her boy and then he is not above seven years, maybe seven years below, then she can bath him because he is still a child. But then, if the child is a grown up, or let's, let's assume the child is um, is above the puberty stage, then okay. she cannot bath the child. Okay. So, so who amongst um, the Muslim community can bath a woman? A woman. 
mostly it's a woman and then a woman to someone who is very very close and related to her okay no like we don't we don't just have to make any woman at all from nowhere come and then come and then bath like you yourself you will not be happy if maybe your mother is dead and then somebody from somewhere you don't know yeah. she will come and then she is going to bath your mother she will see the nakedness of your mother even you you will not be happy so it's the same thing that's why like i decided to talk about this so that at least our ladies out there who know what it means by you being dead like it's not something scary okay. when you see it once or twice then you will be okay with it it's not something scary and we have to think that one day if you don't die before your mother then maybe your mother may die before you so you have to learn it and teach your mother so that after your death like nobody at all can just come and bath, bath you. you you can either bath your mother or your mother will bath you because you not like it for someone to come and see your nakedness even sometimes what they see afterwards is like it's not something Breaking, yes. yes so we have to be like we have to learn it a woman a woman must bath her and then she, 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 the, that person should be a close relative either her mother maybe a husband who can bath her her sister aunties and then other things but then if all these people are not there that is when a far relative or someone a righteous woman in the society or community can do what can bath her if not if also there is no uh, uh, all the women there cannot do this ritual bath or they cannot perform the this thing the bathing to the dead person then a man should perform tayamam for her okay he can yes he can perform tayamam but if in case maybe there are lots of impurities. You know, sometimes when somebody dies, there there are lots of she ate food before that, and there are things in the stomach. Yeah. Maybe they are coming out, and they cannot just perform the same mom for her and all that. Then he has to bath her behind a curtain. You understand? Okay. Like he just have to use his hand behind the curtain. Okay. Yes. So um, these I think do Muslims go to the uh, mortuary? Muslims. Yes, Muslims mortuary. Yes. Yes. But for mortuary is like when you die in the hospital, there is nothing they can do. They have to take you to the mortuary and then back. Right. It's good thing in Kumasi here there is a Muslim mortuary and then the Christian mortuary. But a place like Accra, wherever they when you go to Awodome in Accra, yeah, yeah. wherever they bath the Christian is the same place they bath the Muslim, which is very bad. Right. And even wherever they bury the Muslim it's where they bury the Christian, which is also very bad. Because we have this dual that so often you Muslim and why he can be swally. You die as a Muslim and then you'll be resurrected among the righteous. Okay. So meaning when you die, Muslims should do all the death okay. right for you. Okay. And when you are resurrecting, those around you should be righteous. But then if in case you go and then you fall in between Christians, you know, yourself you will not have a happy stay yeah. in the grave, yeah. which is yeah. very interesting. So how is the funeral bath performed? Is, it, is, it, is there a special one for women and a different one for men, or is the same bathing? Um, it's not a different one. It's the same bathing actually. It's the same bathing, and then but it depends on like how dirty the thing the corpse is. How? Like you know, like I said earlier, somebody may die, and then she ate food, so maybe the food may be just be coming out from her mouth like that. Okay. You see, it happens. Yes. yes. Some people too, maybe they die in the hospital and there are lots of sore in them. Maybe that is sickness and it is yeah. coming out. Like in different ways, somebody may die in water and you know how the person, maybe the skin will be welling off okay. when they, they, they try to bath the person. So it, def it depends on the circumstances or the place where the person died. died. That will depend on the number of bath how you bath the person, the kind of water, whether it's hot, cold, or this, all these things you have to take into consideration. When the weather is cold, mm -hmm. you can make a lukewarm, lukewarm water, okay. like not very cold, not very warm. hot. Okay. It's just warm. warm, so that she will bath or you bath the corpse with. Because when you are bathing her, normally it is believed that she feels it. Her soul feels like whatever is happening to her. Okay. Okay. So if you you are using a lot of hot water. She will not take it, will not be lightly on her, okay. so we have to t consider this. And also, if maybe she died from or she was drowned and then that's where she died, 
then you know that the skin will be very soft and any small thing the skin will be peeling off okay yes if someone dies in water you know like she has been in water for maybe two days before they found her body you can see that she will become very big the stomach will be bloated meaning okay. that there is a lot of water inside yes, okay. mostly even these people they just bury them like that but you they can also bath so normally when they are bathing a person like this somebody who has been drowned in water, water. they normally don't use the soap a uh, sponge okay. they just use the water as they perform only the gusul for the person and then they bury him okay. but then if the person maybe she died at home you use there are things you require maybe clean water soap sponge you have this thing cedar cedar leaves i don't know if you know no. cedar leaves. how is it like they are just leaves but even it, it's very good for a lot of things is it easy is it to be found like oh it's, it's very easy to be found even in here where do we get it it's just a tree okay it's just a tree and uh, like people it grow anywhere? it yes people grow it because i was having a student and she said in the house they were having it but even like if you go out there you will get the distant the powdered one because it's very good okay. especially the malams and then the women hygiene they normally sell it because it's especially for ladies very good for like taking sickness a lot of sickness typhoid and your stomach pains and all this but then the leaves too they are very good to bath it it takes away death so okay. they, yes they use it much when bathing the okay. cups and then comfort comfort for perfuming the shroud and then Is it also only they comfort use perfume the, okay there are perfumes used yes but you know comfort they use comfort much comfort for the shroud and then perfume for maybe after the shroud they spray it okay. You know, for comfort, when it is in the when they they will okay. always. So before that, mm. what is the shroud? What is meant by shroud? Oh, a shroud is just a piece of white cloth. Muslims normally use to cover their this thing cups before they bury. They cannot just bury you naked. Although yeah. we were all born naked, and it is believed that we all, we were all born naked and you go naked. So the, this nakedness is used you being shrouded by a white cloth. Okay. Nothing else is just the white cloth. So that is what we mean by shroud. shroud okay. And then there are a number of the shrouds, like according to the person, a man maximum is three, but for a woman maximum should be seven, minimum okay. should be three. Okay. Yes, you know, for a woman, a woman holds yeah. so much importance in her body. Her aura is very strong. Yeah. Like the, every part of her body is must be it must be where it's covered and it's very important to cover all these parts of your body so seven is the maximum and then three is the minimum so if you get seven it's better you use seven plus we have kamis and then izar izar is something like skirts and then kamis is something like dress i wish the doll was here i would have or we also got a shroud maybe we would have just demonstrated but maybe okay. next week inshallah next week, inshallah but inshallah today I'll use this thing to show how we do the bathing and then other thing. So how the bath is performed. Oh okay. The bath for the bathing, how it it is very easy. It's just like you bathing go so and then also bathing with soap and this thing. Okay. But when it comes to that baby, it's like they normally bath the person with the soap and sponge first, then you bath the person go so. But you know this one, this is the case, you are not doing it yourself, somebody's going to do it for you. And then also, it is advised that, like, not more than three people go inside. Even the three is, if the person is very heavy, maybe she is fat, and two people cannot handle her, then three people will go, and then, but then this is a case in Ghana here, you go somewhere, and then a lot of people, like five, seven, they are in the room, just bathing and shrouding, which is very bad. At least two, three, maybe if, I don't mean it's your ma uh, it's a mother or her two children, or the child and then the aunts. These people, they can, they can just go in and then bath her so that they will help with turning her and then doing all sorts of things. Is there anything to be said before bathing them? No, there is no precise thing to be said. It's just you make your intention. You are going to bath her, her corpse. Okay. Then, like how you say, 
when you are going to bismillah but before you enter you say that before you enter wherever you are going to but whilst bathing you should be saying it's take far for her like allow me feel feel her allow me feel like may allah forgive her may allah forgive her maybe in your heart or even with your mouth slowly slowly so, um, but you shouldn't go there do we have talking. to be mute or we have to be talking no you that? shouldn't be talking too much like some people you go there then they are just talking making noise and hey, no it's it's not advisable or it's not this thing how can you even go there somebody is dead and the only thing you should be saying is they stick far you have to be doing the stick far for it you shouldn't be so much talking and then all that okay. it is very important okay and for that um let me read the comments people are sending in thank you all for tuning in live right here on mom online and the program is i do muslim show Hajja Ramoti says salam to everyone watching live Saudi. Thank you very much. And also I have Barox A. Menk say salam to everyone watching you live from Tepa Amfata. Okay, thank you all. And also I have Kubra Samet saying Masha Allah. Thank you. Yusuf Abubakar says Allah bless you. Amin, Suma, Amin. And Masha, um, Niyama al Haj Musa says, Masha Allah, may Allah reward you all. Keep the fire burning till Shaitab repents. Thank you. Kandi Osman says, Masha Allah, may our Almighty Allah bless you, ladies. Thank you very much. Abdul Karim, Abdul Rahim says, Masha Allah. Thank you all. We are not done with the program. Please, you can catch us live right here on Mom Online. And the program is I Do Muslim Show. Today, our discussion is women and funeral. Women and funeral. You can tell anyone to join us live right here on Mom Online. Okay, so like we were talking about the shroud the, and, yeah. and all this, and also how the bathroom is performing Performed. this thing. So, inshallah, like I said, when you are going to bath the person, you have to consider like the person okay. because she's also a human being, and whatever you don't wish to be done for you, you you can she assume yes, assume and put yourself you the one in a person yes. So whatever maybe like the way we talk, and you know women, that's why it's good to like a close relative. Okay. That's it okay. because sometimes the way people talk. The person will do it, and then when she goes outside, hey, if you see this part of her body, if you see, like, which is very, yes, which is very bad. It shouldn't be done that way. The person should be right, she should be someone who, like, knows what is right and what is wrong. Right. She knows what, like, saying this, or lying against a dead person is a grave sin okay. to her, and then she knows that she, she doesn't have to say this even if she has seen it, she should be able to keep quiet. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't just say every, anything at all outside so that the corpse will not feel bad or something. Yes. So, inshallah, she, she needs to help us with uh, this thing. Okay. Uh, this thing of... And uh, so, inshallah, maybe today we can even show the bathing okay. okay. and then the, the shrouding too. Because I have some small white, white distance in my bag. Okay. So, now, let's assume this is the dead person. Okay. So let's ask, she's small, so even I myself alone, I can. Let's assume two people. The person is dead. From here, you tie something to this point. Can't, can't, I think you can. can let it it up, up, it up, up. Okay, let me this one. Show it. Yeah. Okay. 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 So from here, if the person just dies, Maybe the, the, the jaw will be open, will be left open. Okay. So from here, you tie something, then you tie, or you bring something from here, then you tie it here. It okay. can be. That is be immediately the person dies. dies. When yes. whoever who is around, Wrong. The person yes. Should yes. Do so. you should do so. So that, and then if maybe when she's dying, she, she like maybe she, the legs were crossed or something, okay. you should make sure you straighten it, straighten all these things, and then leave her there. When you straighten it, it will be straightened just at the moment. Yep. If not, if you don't do that, and then later on, it keeps long for some time. Later on, maybe the body will be stiff, yeah, and then they will not be able to, to be, yes, yeah. to straighten it again. This way, you see, bathing her and then shouting her will be difficult. So now, let's come to bathing. When it comes to bathing, like this is the person, 
she's dead. You don't know, maybe she ate something and then there's there is um there are things or left in the stomach, maybe yeah. some deaths or this thing. If you just bath without doing this, maybe after the bath it will the thing will come out again. So first of all, you you you, you try putting her maybe she's lying there like this. You try raising the head small. Okay. Press the stomach small. So that everything in her in the stomach will come out from the mouth. Okay. When you do this, it will just come out. So you press it small, and when all this come out, before you what you use water to wash okay. all this this thing. Then you use your soap and then sponge. sponge. Not very this like you should use a sponge. You that's why I always say you should. Yes, you should assume it's like you. you are. Yes, you are the person. How do you wish? To be treated when you are yeah. dead. So you use a soft sponge, then you bath her. Okay. You bath her, you turn her, and then bath. Most normally, when they are going to bath the person, they tie her with something small here. Okay. So inside, you just put your hand under the covers and then wash. Okay. But you just don't open and then look. You know, you put your hand under it and then wash. wash. And when you are turning the person, the cover is still there. You turn her, bath her, and then. You. So when you finish. When you finish doing this, now it's now left with the gusso, which is the important part. Okay. It's just as we, we do gusso for ourselves. Yes. So you get a clean water. It can be a running water or a water clean. in, yes, just, just a clean, clean water. Yes, because we're going to perform gusso for gusso. her. So you first pour the water in the hand and then you wash the hand. Okay. After that, you raise the head small. You put water in the mouth. Then you make sure she bring it out because she cannot even swallow. She will come out. Then you wipe the nose, then you wipe the face, then the arms. Okay. After that, after that, then you pour water. She's lying down there, so you can turn her like this. Okay. Then you pour water right. from this point, okay. yes, right first. When you turn, you pour the water, then you turn to the left to side. side, then you okay. pour the water to, to this side. Then after that, you just pour the water on the head. Okay. And then that is it, that is it for the bathing. Now, when so it comes, how is the shroud done? So, okay, here is, please, can we get scissors? Yes, like I have some white, white this thing here. I don't know if there is something which will help us raise this thing up. Okay, shroud, but before that, you can all tune in live. Please join the discussion today because we all. Even me, I didn't know certain things like this. So you should join us live right here. So whenever something like this happens, since it is death, definitely we are going to face it. Definitely we are going to meet it. So let's all join the discussion. So at any point in time, and it is a must, definitely we're going to meet death. So whenever it happens to you, being it anyone in your family, you can, even if your mother doesn't know how it, it is done, you teach her how it, how it is supposed to be done so that Allah help us because the death, um, everything concerning the death matters. We have to do what we are asked to do by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also his prophets. So you can join us live right here. Call friends, families to join us live on the discussion. The program is I Do Muslimers Show on Mom Online. Okay. Then, like the dress, what we put on top is what we call the kamis. Like it's the same as shirt. Shirt. Okay. Yes, Arabic. And then we also have the izal, which is something we use to cover down, down our like our lower part of the body. Like for a woman, maybe we will not get up to the seven, but we will just use what we have here. Yes. But the maximum should be seven, seven. for a woman, and then the minimum should be three. Okay. So let's assume this is our this thing first coming. So you first you just make it into a form of a dress. Just so you you would cut yes, you cut the Malama Rashidat Abdul Mumi, Malama Rahmat Swala, Malama Mardia Mustafa, Ewo Ideal Muslim Show, Kwisia de Bia, Anopanundu. Our mom online, radio and TV, inshallah. Wayawma ya'abdu al-zalim ala yadayn Yaqulu ya laytani 
يا ليتني اتخذت مع الرسول سبيلا يا ويلتى ليتني لم اتخذ فلانا خليلا لقد اضلني عن الذكر بعد اذ جاء Malama Rashidat Abdul Mumin Malama Rahmat Swala Malama Mardia Mustafa Ewo Ideal Muslim Show Kwesia Dabia Anopanondu Ewo Mam Online Radio and TV Insha Allah Wallahi, Al-Jannah to Fidjaus, Insha'Allah, Amen, Amen. Malama Rashidat Abdul Mumin, Malama Rahmat Swala, Malama Mardia Mustafa, Ewo Ideal Muslim Show, Kwesia Dabia, Anopanondu, Ewo Mam Online, Radio and TV, Insha'Allah. Okay, so now, let's assume the person is lying like this. Maybe she's lying down. So you first put this one, which is the camis, something like a dress, because it's the the neck is very small, so it's not. So when you put this, she's lying down like this. You put the white glove like this for her upper part. Then you take the this is what we call the camis. Then after that we have the easel. She can if it can come down like this. Yeah, something like a sketch or a wrapper down there. And this is a... Okay, yes. And this is a will come down there. So it will cover this part of her body. Like this. Something like this. But then normally, maybe you will not be able to do all this because the person... Because she's like this, that's why I'm doing this. So... Well, when you finish bathing, maybe you use the camphor and then the perfume. You can just from the from what you'll be using the end. Camphor, do, you, do you grind it before? Yes, you grind it and then normally it is poured even in the this thing in the shroud. We call this thing lifafa. So, you know, from the last what you'll be using last, you can just be doing it with while she's sleeping like this. Because maybe you cannot, she will not be flexible for you to be, yes. So you just leave her like that. Then you put this, this thread there. The importance will come later, you see. It. So it is there. Then you put the lifafa like this. You just put it on her like this. Then you put it on her, the, the second one. Because we don't have enough, so we are only using this. Then, then we have what? Our dress, which is a kameez. Then the what skirt. So this is the camis. Let's assume this is these are seven lifafes because we will not be having all. So they are like this. When you do this, then you just fold. Because you are two, when one is folding this way, the other, the other yes, the other should be folding the other way. So it will be this way. When you do it this way, then you take it off and you leave the dead person lying down there. You take this off. Then you bring it here. So you will turn her like this. You see, this one will be easy to do for somebody who is there. Then you open it up. So you see, you open it up. Then you make sure she comes in the middle. So when you do this, just straightforward, you put the, the head or you put the dress like this. You understand? Then the skirt is also the second thing. Then you just do it this way for her. See, this is very easy for you. Other than carrying her and putting her down, this will be very easy. So after doing this, then we have something we call the veil. Like we also have the veil for women. You, you normally put their heads tied on one thing. So normally the veil, they do it this way. This one is somehow big. They do it this way, this way. Then they'll put it on the person's head like this. So this is when normally they will tell you people to come and then look because they've already done this for her. So if the people come and then they finish looking, then they want to take her. That is when they bring the lifafa. Lifafa is the end thing. That is what I said you should be. If it is seven, you will get five of the lifafa because one has been used for kamis and isa, and then the other has been used for the this thing. So when you do this, then you bring this one too, and you do this. Same thing for... So when you do this, 
Then the rope or the thing we use first, which is this rope, you use it to tie this part. Like this. So you tie it. Then you use the you tie the other one too. Normally the ropes are three. One should come in the middle. Yes. So when you tie when you tie this one too. Then you tie the one in the middle. So now the person is now ready to be taken to the this thing. So much. Then that, that that is when they take the person and then they will take her to for the this thing for the Janaza prayer. Then after that they will take her and then they will go and bury her. So this is the part one. Next we will continue with the part two. wig on you on your head or something what do they do to yes that? i even forgot to mention that okay. when you have a wig on your head they have to remove it because you cannot take anything like, that. like it is from this world to the okay. yeah, yes to the grave that's why and anything which is part of your body let's assume a finger if it, it while bathing you and that finger maybe your finger is broken or it has been trimmed while bathing okay. Because we're already there, they cannot throw it away. They have to put it part. They have to put it inside your shroud. Okay. And the same happens to when they are combing your hair and then your hair falls off. They have to put the that fault hair okay. inside your shroud. They shouldn't throw. It is a very listen and big mistake people do nowadays. Okay. I once went with my mother to a funeral house. So my grand one of my grandmothers died, and then. A woman went there and then she was bathed. So after the bathing, she came with the hair, broken hair and everything. And then she kept in the dust. So I was like, oh, like it shouldn't be so. so because since she's dead before the this thing came off, she has to take her thing away. They have to put it in the shroud for her to take it away. Like in the case of this week, they have to remove the wig okay. from there. Even if it means treating it. Is it off. to be done so? But it has to be done. That's why it's even haram to at the first so. place. Yes. So as a woman, why will you even do this to your head? So if you're, you've, you've cut your hair too, it's normal. Then you, they'll just bury you like that because they cannot produce hair for you okay. there. But then if you've done something like a wig or you've added some extension or anything, you have to try and then remove it for you from there before they bury you. Okay. So thank you all for joining us live right here. Inshallah, next week the discussion will be continued. Inshallah, with, with that, I would like to like advise my sisters out there like we shouldn't be so much scared of something like this because of that a lot of us don't want to learn about it or this thing like it is normal even me when i was uh, like before now maybe let's say three years back and this thing, i was also scared even if i hear somebody is dead i'll maybe find it difficult to sleep or this myself, yeah. but then when you like you open your uh, your heart to it and then you see it as a normal thing. You see that it's just a normal because everybody will die. Okay. And if you don't make it normal and then it happens to you, then it will cause you much. Mm -hmm. So you have to open up to it before it happens to someone who is very, very close to you so that you don't, like, you, it doesn't affect you so, so much. much. And then also, we should also, like, remind each other. We should also have it in mind always that death is around the corner like what is going on in this world today when you look at ladies is like it's very you can, it's a nice it's very sudden if we can also look at things happening in this world we can see that how this thing the people who act immorally how they die is is not good they die a miserable death we can give a lot of example let's take a bunny for instance yes yes look at when she came, let's take this thing. It is Susie Williams. Susie Williams. She did the same thing, accident. Yes. So you can see that all these people who are trying to introduce immorality and these things, like something... They didn't take it easy when they were living this Yes, world. and yeah, yes, their death is sometimes like a very pitiful and this thing, but you cannot even feel pitiful because the person, the way the person will behave and this thing. And also, death is around the corner, so we, we should also have to be careful with how we behave because... The reason why I'm saying this is whatever your community, your people say, after your death, will also go, will, will either go for, for you or against you. Okay. 
when when you die. So you should you should at least treat your society and the community nice, so that when they die, they'll be sad that they've missed something like valuable. something valuable in the society. But if you should die and then your community are happy because a trouble has been gone from their distance, yeah. then you know that your hereafter will be a problem. Yes. And then people who don't take so much um listen so much importance to the laws and then the things Allah Banner what Allah said, we should be mindful that death is a real thing and no matter what you do, it will come to your way. And there is a this is saying of Ali Radiallahu who said if you think you will not die, if death will not take somebody, then he wouldn't take Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Salam, salam, salam. And it is even painful. Death is also painful. So when you are there and somebody is dying, please try at least. Maybe you use cold water and then hanky to wipe the person's tears so that, and then sweat so that you at least help the person with the life. We can see it from the life of Prophet Muhammad when he was about to die. Now, um, this Nana Fatima was there. She was crying because she can see how, like, he, the, yes, the way he was suffering, should... even though he was a prophet. So what about us? We should think about this. If the Prophet is saying death is painful and then he's, like, his daughter sitting by him was going, because the angel was extra careful when taking out the soul. And this happens. What, what about us? So we should please be mindful of, of this. Okay. And then if you like okay inshallah let, let, next, next week then we'll week. talk about the okay. so next week inshallah join the discussion and the program is ideal muslim show um i'm rashida abdul mumin and malama moidia was the one taking us through um let me read some comments so we can leave um aisha to abdul karim says masha allah Fatima to Ali also says, Masha Allah. Yusuf Abdul Mumin is saying, Masha Allah, may Almighty Allah give you more knowledge and wisdom. Keep it up. Thank you. And Al Haji Kamal Muhammad says, Masha Allah, watching it live from Saudi Arabia. Thank you all. Inshallah, next week you should join the discussion and also. We should be cautious and mindful of the life we are living in this world so that the hereafter and also our death is going to be quite easy for us. Um, inshallah, next week we will, we will continue with our part two. Thank you all for joining us live right here. Enjoy the rest of our programs. Wassalam. Malama Rashidat Abdul Mumi, Malama Rahmat Swala, Malama Mardia Mustafa, Ewo Ideal Muslim Show, Christia Debia, Anopanundu, Ewo Mam Online, Radio and TV, Insha Allah.